Uh, Jamie Gibson, back row, just signed from Leicester Tigers. Jamie, welcome to the Saints. How are you finding your first couple of months at the club? Oh, it's been good, a little bit different, but um, a good group of boys and enjoying it so far. You made the decision to move here from Leicester, as you've just said. Uh, that rivalry between the clubs, does that play any part in your mind when you're making the move, or is it just about what's best for you as an individual? Um, no, I suppose it's obviously you don't, you don't make the move because of the rivalry. Um, I know when I, when I spoke to, to Jim, he did he did he did say I know it's obviously something that's not done often. So you know, make sure you make make you know, have a think about it properly. But um, no, for me it was more about the uh, obviously personal development. Um, you know, I feel the Saints is a place that you know, suits, suits my style of rugby. It's got a good culture, a good group of players, and you know, it's going places. And you know, I had a fantastic couple of years at Leicester. Um, but I no, just felt the time was right to, to move on and, and see what would happen. On the field, you're a pretty dynamic back row forward. Is that the kind of way you see yourself fitting in at the Saints? Does that fit the style of play that you have? Uh, well, obviously, over the last few years, um, Saints have, have you know, obviously they play a good, group, good brand of rugby. You know, they, they move ball around. They, they have that physical element when they need it, but they play a good, good, good brand of rugby and something that you know, probably suits my style quite well and look forward to playing a bit of rugby. Obviously, with the move comes other things as well off the field, uh, moving to a new house, a new area. How's that been for you? Uh, moved down a couple of weeks ago. Actually, just that when I had a week off, it was quite nice to, to get a chance to, to move in. But um, not been too far. Fortunately, managed to spend the first couple of weeks commuting down from from actually next door to Cockers, which was a little bit interesting. But um, no, feel feel settled in. My wife, my wife and family are happy, so all's good. When you leave a club like Leicester and you move to a rival like the Saints, obviously you've made friends there. You'll make friends here. Is there less rivalry on that side of things than when you're actually on the field? Oh, uh, definitely. Um, I suppose the, the way the game's gone in the last so what, 15, 20 years since I've gone professional, people, you know, they, they're not many one club men anymore and, and people do move around and uh, as a result, you know, you, you know players from all over the country, from all over the world, I suppose, and, you know, it's obviously a nice, nice chance to see people at least twice a year when you play against them, but um, off the pitch, you know, once, once the rugby's finished, you know, you, you're friends as you were before or, or were afterwards, it's, as I said, the rivalry is mainly on the field. As you say on the field, it's mainly the rivalry. It's a big rivalry as well. Are you looking forward to being on the other side of the fence, experiencing it from a Saints angle? Yeah, well, as, as I said, you know, the, the East Midlands derby, as you said, is, is a game that, unlike any other I've been involved in, you know, both here and and at Welford Road, and obviously I've played played in a few of them, and you know, you, you really notice the difference in noise, in, in sort of intensity and attitude around around the place, and you know, it'd be interesting to see, see how it goes. But you know, looking forward to it. Off the field, tell us a bit about yourself. What sort of character are you? Um. I suppose, uh, well, rel relatively relaxed. You know, I, I, well, I studied at Oxford, did a couple of years in classics there, which is probably not the uh, archetypal sort of project for a rugby player. But um, I'm relatively relaxed, enjoy, enjoy reading, um, enjoy my films, and, and see what happens. Tell us a fun fact about yourself, something we might not know about you a hidden talent or a, a skill you've acquired over the years. So I love my cooking. It's the one thing you get a lot of time time off as a rugby player, and you're expected to eat a lot of food. So, um, it's been the last five or six years really, really starting to try and enjoy my cooking and see what I can do. What sort of food are we talking? Is it sort of gastro, fine dining, anything, um, any anything I can? Obviously, you know, as I said, you have to. It's difficult to do fine dining when you have to eat a large, large amount. You know, you can't eat tiny, tiny little portions all the time. But um, no, I just like playing around, like seeing things and seeing what can happen.